We've been reading from this the Sermon on the Mount, this great teaching of Jesus. And most of the time I use the, the ESV, and that's what I've been reading from. But I want to read a little bit later on in Matthew chapter 5. I want to read this out of the message. And it's not just this idea of murder that we see in our country today that's so, uh, so powerful. But, but here there's even other words. It talks about hatred and anger are not okay. It says this in the message in Matthew 5, beginning of verse 21. It says, you're familiar with the command to the ancients. Do not murder I'm telling you that anyone who is so much as angry with a brother or sister is guilty of murder. Carelessly call a brother idiot, and you just might find yourself hauled into court. Thoughtlessly yell stupid at a sister, and you're on the brink of hellfire. The simple moral fact is that words kill. Let me read that again. The simple moral fact is that words kill. This is how I want you to conduct yourselves in these matters. If you enter your place of worship and about to make an offering, you suddenly remember a grudge a friend has against you. Abandon your offering, leave immediately, go to this friend and make things right. Then and only then come back and work things out with God. Or say you're out on the street, an old enemy accosts you. Don't lose a minute. Make the first move. Make things right with him. After all, if you leave the first move to him, knowing his track record, you're likely to end up in court, maybe even jail. If that happens, you won't get out without a stiff fine. I love that. Don't lose a minute. Make the first move. Make things right with him. That's on us. It's not waiting for the other person to respond. It's saying, what do we do? And it doesn't say go out and prove a point. See, in our race to be right, we can win the argument and lose the relationship. Like, I want us to see that. In our race to be right, we can win the argument and lose the relationship, and that's not okay. See, how many remember in elementary school, there was that one kid who always had to be right? Do you know who that kid was? You had that one kid who all David Weddle said it was him. <laughs> you had that one kid who always had to be right, and he was going to let everybody know that he was right. He was kind of the, the teacher's pet, and, and here's the thing about that kid. Nobody else liked him, except for David Weddle. <laughs> but nobody else liked that kid because he always wondered, even if he was right, he was so obnoxious about the way he presented himself that nobody liked him. My fear is that we as a country have become a nation of those little kids. 